All right, guys, welcome to The Real Albuquerque. I have Brie Annan Lene Winton. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got it right? Yeah, you all got right. it right. <laughs> I'm getting all these tricky names. Last week we had Jennifer Anaya Applegate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was a tricky one. She just calls it Jaw. <laughs> so by the end of the episode, it's called a jaw. Uh, today, you're watching us with our bur burrito review. Chloe's out here on the deck just doing Chloe cat things. You're going to see her doing meowy stuff here. We have a brown bag, of course. That's how these burritos usually come. And uh, we had to revisit a classic burrito from episode one. We went back to Blake's, actually. In I'm episode, excited. episode one, we did bacon red. This today we're doing sausage green. Awesome. So we're mixing it up, same style. We'll see how another. We tried another location. Dude, people aren't open on Saturday mornings. Really? What's the deal with that? I didn't know people weren't open on Saturday mornings. Yeah, I tried like four or five different burrito places that said they were going to be open and just like don't show up. So if you're in the game and you say you're going to be somewhere, I uh, recommend you be somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> Because right? people are ready to eat your food and, um, in this case, try it and share it. <laughs> <laughs> right? No kidding. And then we also have Flying Star. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. You know, I've been craving Flying Star. Well, perfect. You're, well, we'll talk about this, but you're from out of town, <laughs> but a local legend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was literally thinking this week, like, oh, I haven't had Flying Star in so long. Baked fresh since 1998. We'll see about that, right? right? And satellite coffee. We'll give both shout outs. Look at the little presentation that comes in. Uh, we have this. I may need Beautifully to get a bowl. too. Well, we can just attack this, right? Yeah. Chloe says yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe <laughs> likes Blake's, because I eat those and she likes to snack on those. Uh, what you do you want to start with? Me? You're the Let's... guest. Hmm. Both great burritos. Uh, right? Both are going to be really good, so I'm excited about each one. Let's start with the Blakes and okay. save, save this flying star. <laughs> okay, Chloe's going to have to uh, do something here, or we'll just keep her where she is. She's like, okay. She really likes uh, eating the green, the eggs, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, and the cheese, of course, because she's a cat. Right, and who doesn't love cheese? Right, there you go. Okay, thank you. Mind the wrapper. I don't know, is that a tomato? What is that? I think that? that's a tomato, yeah. We've got a lucky random <laughs> tomato. <laughs> and I guess if you cut the, didn't cut this open, you'd never know. But right? thank you for yeah. the tomato love. Coming at you from uh, Blake's. So this is the, I'm gonna, I wanted to say bacon red. This is uh, the <laughs> sausage, sausage green. Sausage green, yeah. So what are your thoughts? Or what do you like about burritos? I love the tortilla in burritos. That's honestly the most important part for me. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I've heard eggs, I've heard um, the hash browns are important. Also have heard the tortilla. Hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now when we compare this with this one, it's gonna be quite different, I think. Oh yeah. Just a generally all well well put together. Mm hmm I would say top of the game burrito. Everything's pretty well mixed through. It's not like yeah. everything's on like layered sides, you know? Yeah, there's no bias of like, oh, yeah. that's like I have all chili or mm -hmm. all hash brown here. We've yeah. seen that before. Those and are sad like, burritos. And you're like, I have all hash brown now. Then like you get, or like you get to the, you eat to the middle. You're like, okay, there's all egg. And the very bottom's like, the bottom third's like all hash browns. Like, mm -hmm. well, this is perfect. Right. <laughs> Those are certainly the worst, worst ones. Sausage is really good. Mm -hmm. The green chili, I don't even know if it's there. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's not prevalent. Yeah, it's like, not like in your face. Right. But there's like some heat after. Yeah. Whereas like red chili and stuff like that, it's mm -hmm. like all the time heat. Oh yeah. Water break. Man, it's a beautiful Saturday day. It really is. I'm so happy about how great it's been this whole week. So you've been here all week? No, I drove in last night. Okay, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you're talking about just in general. Because mm -hmm. now you guys um, are in Colorado Springs. Yes, I am. And enjoying that. Used to um, basically run Cloud9. Yeah, I owned it. Own, well, yeah. still do. Well, yeah, I own, um, it's a different company though. Well, sure, but still um. same DBA probably, right? Cloud9. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little different. We, because um, we actually closed the former business and, um, opened a whole nother business under Colorado. 
But it's, and it's still no, cloud. just cloud nine divine. That's it. No healing center. No, oh, okay. no anything else. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna do this, dude. But we're gonna find a way. Oh, it's so this is smothered. So <laughs> I know it looks fantastic. It looks really delicious. What do you prefer? Uh, I'll take a fork. Okay, I'll go mm -hmm. spoon. Right. Get this on camera here. This is a nice burrito. You can already see there's beans involved. Mm hmm Yeah. Right? So it's you know it's gonna be good. It. Well, mm -hmm. I may just have to do it like this. Oh, Brie. Yeah. That's fine. Separate. Yeah. Look at that. I can't show it on you. Well, yeah, let's yeah, show let's this real it. quick. So there's um, some bean action and versus obviously the Blake's burrito, no beans, different kind of profile. Yeah, 100% different. But I'm 100% excited because I'm 100% hungry, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> there's a lot of 100%s here. This is... Are there chips inside this? Well, I don't know. What is that? That looks like a wavy chip, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Almost like there's nachos inside this. <laughs> nachos. <laughs> wow. See, the beans make a, such a different taste. I don't even know they if there's really hash do. browns in there. I don't think there is. Oh, hash there's browns. potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, potato wedges. Mm -hmm. Green chili has a different taste. It does. Um. Really, the beans separate this burrito from this. Mm-hmm. The beans and the hash browns, I would say. Hash brown potato difference. Well, Brie, Brandon, can I just call you Brie like I yep. normally do? Okay. Yes, you can call me Brie like you normally do. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Brie's attacking this thing. I went back and tried this other one. Is this nacho cheese? I think this is nacho cheese. That's what I'm saying. I think there's nachos inside our burrito. Is that what that is? Or some sort of cheese that's melted into mm -hmm. a consistency of nacho cheese? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know what that is. But it's dangerous. That's pretty good. And what I mean is I could eat this thing all day, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Definitely different flavors. Um, wow, I don't know that I should put these two burritos together. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I should They're have They're pretty found, different. Yeah, this... It has beans... Sausage galore, mm -hmm. some sort of melty cheese. Yeah. That's cheddar. This is some other cheese. Yeah. I don't. I'm not a cheese expert enough to know what it is. It has the consistency of Elvita, but not any of the other properties. <laughs> yeah. Like taste. Yeah. Or, I don't know. You know what that almost tastes like? Hmm. Like some sort of like taco, you get like a soft taco, right? Follow mm -hmm. me here. Soft taco. Soft taco. You put some cheese on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe something you'd make at home, like you put that uh, cumin on it or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. For some reason, I'm getting that in my mind. That picture. Hmm. You know, when I think of yeah. flavors. Yeah. Whereas this is actually like a burrito. This mm -hmm. is, I don't know if this is even a burrito. I mean, technically, it's wrapped in a burrito. Right. <laughs> so. like, in all technicalities, <laughs> like that's all you got to do, right? I don't really know. Yeah, but then we can get, then we can go deeper and just say, well, what's the difference between a burrito, uh, a flauta, a soft taco? I mean, these are all questions that I can't answer in this time, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know right. if this is a burrito. This is more of uh, it's something else. It was pretty good, though. Mm -hmm. I don't quite like it. I really do feel like it's nachos. I really think there's chips inside. See? I'm we like, don't almost, know. I'm almost convinced they're like chips that have been like... <laughs> See, look, it looks like chips or something, or yeah. like maybe it's the eggs that just like... Yeah, the eggs look like chips. <laughs> I mean... It... With, the, with the nacho like cheese, it really seems like there's nachos <laughs> <Yeah>. inside this. <laughs> it's not bad. No, really good. Okay, so Brie, mm -hmm. I don't have any bombshells to drop, like this is organic, this one isn't, mm -hmm. or this is made with love and that one isn't, right? Mm -hmm. not, not, no bombshells like that to drop today. Last week we had an organic burrito and ja, Jen was saying, you should have told me afterward, after mm. I picked. Uh, but yeah. try, try this uh, while I go back to this. Go for it. Man, I'm just really hungry. We shouldn't do this hungry. It's like when you go to the grocery store. Oh yeah, when I you're sh hungry and you buy the whole aisle. Yeah, you should, not go to, you should not go to two places you shouldn't go when you're hungry. Uh, one of which is Chipotle. I don't know if you mm, like Chipotle. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, or the grocery store, or Target, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because even if I went to Target for like paper towels or something, if I'm hungry, I'm walking down all the food aisles. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going down that aisle. Do that big giant thing of goldfish. I've oh. done that a couple times and like kept it in the car for like my drives down and back. <laughs> You're talking I'm, about the big bucket thing. Yeah, like the big, huge square thing of goldfish. Like, the, you have to open like a uh, the milk. Yeah, thing. like yeah, <laughs> you open it like a milk carton. <laughs> I, don't, I like that too. Yeah, they they were handy though because I kept oh, them yeah. in for the drive up and down. But one time I went uh, hiking, mm -hmm. got back to my car and was like, I am starved. I have goldfish. So you're like, I shared with all, everyone. I was like, you want some goldfish? Like. I know you're hungry. We just like went up and down this mountain. Let's do it. And no one can say no to goldfish. No. Right? No. Oh, have you? Do you like the pretzel flavor goldfish? No, I don't like the pretzel flavored goldfish. Oh, really? No. What's your favorite? Just original? Just uh, I like the colored ones. I really oh. like the colored ones. But they're that's original flavor, yeah, right? Yeah. But the colors, the, the colors, rainbow. the colors have taste. The colors certainly have taste. Like Starburst. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you were goldfish color, which one would you be? The pink purple one. Oh, it's okay. like a dark maroon. I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have any dark maroon here. Well, you do. It's kind of like yeah. this, right? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like this color. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I think I'd be yellow, maybe. Yeah. Tough decisions. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about this? Going back to it, is there another tomato? I think that's another tomato, yeah. When do they start putting tomatoes in these things? I don't know. This is a really great addition. It adds yeah. a little bit of color, it pops. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure when they started putting tomatoes in. It could be a mistake, but it's actually really good. Yeah, if it was. Pleasant surprise. Be a thing. This, breeze, <laughs> this breeze is nice. Oh yeah. So we're in Albuquerque today, Saturday. I don't know, it's like it's like already fifty degrees outside for yeah, sure. It's only, like, it's only like ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. So Sun it's amazing. Shining, yeah. <laughs> All right, Bree, we got to get focused here and make a winner so we can get on to talking about uh, Bree and the Cloud Nine and the mm -hmm. dojo and life and mm -hmm. clouds and the healing center and mm -hmm. Jeff and the journey. I can just right? keep going on and on while you decide. The journey that is what? <laughs> yeah. You no, know, I really like this one when we started. Now coming back to it, this nacho like cheese inside this really is a thing. You know what I the, quite enjoy. You know the big difference here is when you when I go back to this and this, it's like this doesn't this lacks flavor. Hmm. I don't know if it's a seasoning difference. I feel like it's a it's almost a little dry compared to this. Yeah. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, we got Snapchat going. <laughs> yeah. Cause I really liked this one when we started. It was really great. That's why I like putting these things next to each other. Cause you're like, oh, dude, the range or X burrito is the best. Yeah. But you when you really put it next to another burrito, you're like, oh, this is what I like about this. Mm-hmm. It's know, different things. Yeah. You know, uh, Golden Pride has a really good tortilla and you put it against the Blake's mm -hmm. one in episode one. I was like, dude, I got to go with the, the tortilla because it just mm -hmm. tastes so good. That's really why. So you got a dick breed. Really makes it for me. I'm gonna say this one. Okay, I'm going flying star as well. Mm-hmm. When you get them next to each other, I really love Blake's all day, every day. Oh yeah, 100 percent What I think this Blake's burrito lacks is the green chili. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this smothered aspect I think would really help it. Um, I know it would help can, with the dryness too. I know you can get get them smothered and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I really love Blake's. Really good burrito. But when you put it next to this flying star burrito, this flying star burrito has um, I don't know if it's seasoned different or something's, you know, there's obviously more taste. It's the nachos inside. <laughs> it's the nachos. <laughs> it's, an, it's the nacho, the nacho cheesier flavor, like Doritos mm -hmm. sprinkled in here. Yeah. They, I was listening to it. Can you even describe what nacho flavor is? I would say it's a mix between cheese and salsa. And ah, chili okay. Or something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> With like some salt, because there's chips, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um... Yeah, and then the sausage and the pinto beans. Totally different burritos. Maybe mm -hmm. we can't really compare them directly. Yeah, no. <laughs> but right here, right now, I'm definitely going with this one. Mm-hmm. And the nacho cheese flavor. And a little potatoes. Oh, yeah. Chloe. Chloe's going to come make her pick. <laughs> Aww. She's going to come make her pick. What do you think, Chloe? She's running in right now. Meow. What do you think, Chloe? Do you like Which way? Do you like Blake's? Or Flying Star? 
She's like, I already ate, guys. I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> She's going Blake's. Yeah. Blake's it is. Chloe says Blake's. Bree and I say Flying Star, so we have a kind of a 75% right. win, right? <laughs> I would say. I would say. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, do you want to talk more about the burrito? I kind of want to talk about Bree. Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay, okay. Well, we'll probably still snack on this in the next episode because I'm still hungry. There's a lot left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say no to burritos, right? Now that no. you're in town. Right, I know. Back. Well, there's burrito places out there in Colorado Springs, right? <gasps> are they are they not? Is it the dude, same? Dude, the chili's nothing like the chili here. Do they get it from here? Sometimes, yeah. Some of it's hatched, but it's always like the mild. Oh. Yeah, and then they do things with it, like turn it into stew and then serve it to you as a side of chili. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the burrito game, chili game is obviously different in Colorado. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see the guys selling like New Mexico chili on the side of the road when in, in Denver and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And you're like, oh, okay. So they yeah. do, it does make it up it there. It does make it up there. <laughs> but I've also been let down by the hatch label before too. Yeah, it's a counterfeit. Well, no, it was just certainly like a very sweet pepper that they oh. got from hatch. Yeah, like who buys that, right? Yeah, Let's get right? that hot stuff. I had a pizza that it was covered literally like this thick with green chili and I was like, now we're oh talking. my gosh, like, <laughs> all right. And right. I took a bite of it and it was like the sweetest pizza I'd ever eaten. Oh, so it was like, it was there just for decoration and for like color yeah. and for, it, dare there I say, was like, just like to it. It, flavor? Yeah, maybe it tastes more had... like a bell pepper. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yeah, is... I went from being like, oh, this might be like super hot. Like, I should get like some ranch or something yeah, yeah. to... Oh, what are we even doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, I'm gonna eat some sort of water for sure, but this turned out to be a bell pepper. Right, yeah. That's a big letdown. <laughs> All right, Colorado, get some better chili, I guess. So, <laughs> Bree and Jeff and everybody up there can have All hot right, chili. There's so many transplants, we all know it. Or you can just like start trucking it up there in the little mini. Dude, I have my grandma because she always gets it um, in the September time yeah. when they're doing it. They um, She gets it from Montgomery in uh, Wyoming. The yeah, spot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, the spot right there. Yeah, that's yeah. where I go. Um, so she always gets like a ton and then her and my mom peel it and everything and then she like cuts it up and grinds it up and like puts it in bags and has a whole freezer in her um, garage devoted to it. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, all the Mexicans have this freezer. Yeah, everyone has this freezer of green chili in there. Or at least a lot of like, freezer garage. space dedicated yeah. to green chili. So, this exists everywhere here. It's a thing. And <laughs> so you, when you run out, you just go to grandma's house, you get like a couple more bags. Mm -hmm. She like gets a gallon bag and puts four like mini snack size bags in it. So you just go and get like a gallon bag and take it with you. When you have the travel size, then you can yep. sprinkle it on your goldfish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys. Uh, the winner today, well, I mean, there's no winner. I, I shouldn't, I, how would you say it, not a winner? Because you're, um, hmm. you're all about peace and love. So how would you phrase that so... Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they're this both really good burritos. is exemplary. Ah, I like that. It doesn't have any comparison to the other. Right. It is just fantastic on its own. Right. And the Blake's? This is really good too. On its own. <laughs> Both good burritos. Um, I'm trying to not do the winner thing because right. it's not, because it, really, um, when you go through all the burritos that we've talked about and all the episodes and They've these two. They've all probably been pretty bomb. Yeah. These are all really bomb and I would all eat these any day of the week. Mm -hmm. if, someone, oh, yeah. if someone left it on my desk or it said, you know, I got you a nice burrito. I'm not going to say, dude, well, you know, <laughs> you know what that's about. I really about. wanted some Blake's, yo. What, yeah. is, what is this? Well, you got me Flying Star. You know my feelings about Flying Star, you know, right? Or, no. or whatever. You're going to be like, oh, you got me a burrito? Yeah, you're just going to yeah. eat it. <laughs> so this one's exemplary. This mm -hmm. one's great. Really good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Take it for what you wish. Um, and that's how we're going to end it, right? All right. On that bombshell. No winner, just peace and love, right? <laughs> peace and love. <laughs> All right, bye, guys.